Hey guys, it's Pia. So I know I've been MIA for a couple of weeks, but I um, haven't been able to record because I, I've i had a lot of things going on. I've had, um, I started a new job. I had a family emergency that needed my urgent attention. And I am going to be back with some regularity about videos at this time today i'm going to do a quick video it's going to be an unboxing of a product that i have received it is supposed to be a clay mask the camera went off i don't know at what juncture it went off but okay well i'm gonna open this up because like i was saying it said uh the directions are apply as a mask or to spots and in and, and T zone, and here's the T zone with a generous amount applied to the face and neck. Avoid the eye area. So, this says that uh, clinically kind for sensitive skin, the Beekman 1802 approach to skincare that's clinically tested, scientifically proven, and made for sensitive skin and sensitive people. This is starting to itch on my face. I hope I'm not allergic to a component in this, but I guess if I would have been smart, I would have just tested this. I should have tested this in a small area of my face because now my face is kind of itching and it feels slightly irritated. So I don't know that this was a good idea. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just continue to read. Um, our products go beyond clean. We only formulate with kind ingredients for a routine that skincare simplifies. So why is my face feeling like this? Hmm, okay, well, this says milk glaze, deep pore purging, lactic acid, clay mask. My face is feeling irritated. Glazy days call for luminous skin. Get your glow on with milk glaze. This velvety milk clay mask does it all. Soothe skin while polishing away oil and impurities to reveal a brighter, clearer, more radiant complexion. Okay. Cleanse with milk wash before using milk glaze. I don't have milk wash. They didn't send me that. Apply milk glaze and then follow up with our Bloom Cream Daily Moisturizer and Milk Primer SPF. I don't have that either. <laughs> so we're just doing the mask tonight. And I'm trying to decide if it's hurting because it's cleansing or if it's hurting because I'm allergic. It's kind of hard to say. But I do know that sometimes with clay masks, as they dry, they can kind of feel or make your face feel tight. So I'm trying to distinguish whether my face is feeling tight or whether or not I'm feeling irritation because right now it feels somewhat like irritation. I will say this, on my fingers, it does not feel, my fingers don't feel irritated, but my skin on my face feels irritated. I, I'm venturing to say that it's the lactic acid in this product that's giving my face grief right now. But the packaging is very nice. Use this multitasking treatment once or twice a week. It's best for dull, uneven, and sensitive skin. Okay. Well, sometimes I feel like my skin be a little dull sometimes especially in the winter months in Michigan's a lot of ingredients for this one little clay mask. So it's almost dry. So I'm going to, I'm going to come back um, in a couple minutes whenever I'm ready to wipe this off my face. And then I will assess and decide, do I like? Okay. I have my little towel and Ready to wipe this off my face. I probably should have 
before we won't start to wipe it off. I probably should have done like a steam type of a situation. Or I should have got a larger washcloth. This is like a little rag. It's literally, literally like a washcloth cut in half. <laughs> it's like a rag. <laughs> oh. I always find that clay masks are easier to come off like if you have like a really, 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 really warm towel. Mm -mm. And this one is kind of not only lukewarm. Now that I'm going to have to re-wet this. No, I still hear the birds. It's pretty late in the in the day. I'm still hearing the birds chirp out there chirping. It's such a strange season to me lately because I don't know that I've ever I don't know that I ever really like in my whole life, or I can't recall anyway, maybe it's, maybe it's just that I can't recall, but I don't ever really remember it ever being this windy. And I also don't ever really remember like hearing birds really be so chirpy later in, on in the day as they kind of have been around here. Like ever in life, I don't think I've ever really heard birds really like singing almost late, so late in the day as if they don't know it's nighttime or maybe they're just happy and want to sing. You think birds could be happy? Okay, so <coughs> we got the mask off. And let's see. Hmm. Since it was a clay mask, it wasn't like a wet mask or anything, but I don't know. I at first all at first I wasn't quite sure about the mask. But I think I think I like this mask. Um I I do feel as if my well, I mean I felt like my skin was maybe oily prior to this clay mask um but it does feel as if it does feel as if the skin is like um kind of maybe more more i don't know if i would venture to say radiant not necessarily but it's definitely i definitely feel like my pores are cleaner than they were. I only had on light makeup today um, and not too much. I typically, whenever I want to wear light makeup, I typically only like will wear it on my sides of my face and down here. But I feel like this is a very nice, it's a, it was a very nice mask. I, I like it. I would use it again. I would definitely use it again. And I, I'm thinking to myself that maybe at first it was feeling weird because it was clay. Sometimes clay masks do give me like a itchy type of feeling. And I think maybe it might have been due to the clay and due to the fact that it's really a poor cleansing mask. Um, maybe it, maybe the way that the mask is designed is for it to go a little bit under the outer skin layer, outer, you know, the epidermis. So to get to really get down in the pores. So I, I did enjoy the mask. Um, my face 
Um, it doesn't necessarily feel dry. It does feel very smooth. Um, and I don't know, but yeah, it does very, it's very smooth. So I, I liked it. Um, no complaints here. I don't like this mask. I would, I would buy it. I would give, I would, I would give it, give it as a gift, you know? So yeah, I like it. Um, other than that, guys, please stay tuned for other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon because I got to go.